In this video, we're going to create a basic tree. And I says basic because tree, it is usually trunk, roots, branches, leaves. The other ones, different type of the trees, that is when you come with your imaginations and then we can create and modify. But I want to show you basic so it's a let you start on your journey in creating this. Okay, right here we already look on our UI. And by the way, to go around, you need to hold down Alt key, middle button, and kind of navigate. This is specific to kind of view or plan factory navigations. If you prefer navigations that you may use in different applications, then if you go to File, Options, inside there are shortcuts you can find here different presets you can always go ahead on click on industry standard legacy or a different type or preloaded existence as well if you're going inside the general tab and click on load interface presets you'll notice down below you have it all these navigations and other properties with a Maya 3D Max Cinema. So you can easily just click and change those key binding as a preset. So whatever you feel comfortable for you, you can create. You also can create your own if you want it inside the shortcuts. Just go click and modify. Again, for the purpose of these videos, I will keep it everything vanilla. I will keep it everything as default what is coming when you first time install Plant factory. Well, okay, we're looking on our nodes here. First, what we want to create for ours, it is a trunk. And I know you maybe say we need to create the roots. And for this, we'll actually create the roots the last because our trunk will come with special option to create a true uh, kind of root spawn. But maybe not roots that you think kind of going around wildly. We'll do that, but let's create our first trunk. And you notice on the left side, we have it all these different um, segments we can create it. One, it's a simple segment, and next, advanced segment. Segment. Usually, I use it almost all the time, just advanced. It provides a little bit more properties. It is a little bit more um, on the screen, maybe a little bit overwhelmed, but it is uh, give you more flexibility. So just from beginning, click and create one. Next, if it's not yet connected, we'll connect a root to our advanced segment. And as we're connecting, notice what we have here. We have our plant. We have our cylinder <laughs> appear. Well, it because we don't have it any reference, we don't know how big is a cylinder or how big is a tree. If we're going to file options and we're going to the units, in the units we actually can see what size it is. Currently, one, the plant factory unit, which is number, it will represent as one centimeter for me, which is kind of nice if I'm creating plants. But for the tree, I would recommend for you stick with the meters. So it's meaning one unit, it's one meter. And by the way, this is unit will also affect when you export your plant. So if for some reason you work in centimeters, but you work on the trees, after you export it, your tree become teeny tiny. Or if you create flower and you export as a meters, then your flower will be gigantic. So it's kind of uh, interesting with these um, sizes and reference. So we want to be sure we set in meters here. And next, let's go click on our the trunk we created. As we click, you'll notice down below we have it properties as well. We have it, our map here, UV map up on loading, so we can work on the textures in the future. Well, let's look very fast what we have in our properties for our current segment as a tree. Well, there's our segment prepare. We have it all of this skin, link, ratio, X, we have it meshing, influence, so a lot of stuff. I think it is best if we start one step at a time, yes? First, let's go ahead and click on a name top and I will just call it trunk. So it's much easy to see it. Next, on the left corner, we say green. I'm going to click and change color to the red. It's do nothing. This is purely cosmetics, what we're doing. 
but when we create a bunch of nodes and they all look green and they're all named same very hard to find so in this case i can identify them here and as well if i click on my identification later on the right screen they will color with what color i selected so in this case if i want to see specific branch if i create multiple different branches i can easily identify them by colors by clicking here enable my highlighter select and i can say oh this is those branches that is where they're located okay next let's go down below we can also modify node descriptions but we're okay with this if we look down later you can see we have a skin and mostly we can import geometry if you have a very unusual geometry but again we'll stick with the simplicity we'll just keep it standard link this is with a unit so you remember i says we put it unit per meter so it's meaning it's a 10 meters and we can change this value we can change by click and dragging and you can see how we drag left and right as we're holding our left mouse button we can increase decrease size we can also go inside and type and next you'll notice we have a window which says plus minus this is a randomization so let's go ahead and i put it two so what is meaning whatever i will create planned from random selection is be plus minus two so it can be anywhere from two to 12 or from 8 to 12 and we're going to use this all the time because this is what provide variations if we don't do this every plant will look exactly the same what species were created but in this case and remember i tell you about this special cube look on this if i click the size is changing it's showing me all these variations now if we take this variation and stack them together to all properties for example even the our radius and other stuff then you can see how with multiple variations we can create a total unique plants every time and if you work with like dust studio or anything where for example those variations won't be um, animated you can simple with one click on the button you can create so many variations of plant export them and now you can have it not just a one plant now you can have an unlimited amount of the plants they can have a collection and sell as a collections or use it as a collection with all these variations well and next to this if we look we have those kind of squares and this is squares is a filter if you click on this you'll notice it's open for us like where we can filter where we can add additional points we can modify them we can take the points and create them smooth or any other things and we can modify this is our uh, graphs and graphs can affect a multiple things anything from the shape size and behaviors it's a depend to what component they apply easy way to see how it's work if we're going down to inherited rate and we'll click on one one is the direct and one that's related to the parent we'll open this one which directly and this is affecting our radius so for example if i want shrink on the top because tree you know kind of shrink on the top i'll just take this as a beginning this is end and i'll says let's reduce value right there notice what's happened you see we just shrink the top of this and if you want to be very sophisticated we can do kind of like this and now we have it a very unusual shape so you can see how we can create a different shapes for our plant and sometimes plant may be going bigger smaller bigger different tapes like i think it's a bottle tree or something which is have it kind of on the middle funny looking things you know like this expand on the middle and all that stuff so you can you can totally play around with this well i'm going to delete this nodes because i don't need it i'll just keep it one like this little bit thicker on a bottom and thinner on the top we'll click ok and of course these green ones it's when you have a parent and you're related to the parent but we'll look on this later the also rate you can change and notice this is in the percent so you can originate from the our root point we'll leave it as default trapezium this is will affect more to the branches that allow them to affect by gravity we don't need to worry about this 
the X control. This is help us to modify how the X going. So let's go click on a gear. And now we have it our three dimensional preview. Notice we have it additional points here on the side. What's happening if I move this point like these directions? Okay, we don't see any changes yet. And I'm just going to change like this twisted. Click apply and look on our plants. Now our plant is switching. So this way we can modify a little bit shape how our plant going because sometimes plant may going down. We can modify this also with the different effectors if you want to create more um, kind of randomizations. But this is generic if you want to create special shape for a specific element. Remember, right now we work just uh, on the trunk, but it's maybe also work with the petals on the plant or any other ones which have a specific or like bananas. Think about banana shape. So right here we can specify. Well, I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to beginning, but this is we can modify. They also have it all additional of smoothing everything. We'll look on those a little bit later. We cup it was on the top right here. And right now cut and top. We can also just modify what type we can have it, including our cup profile. So if I go put it up, you can see now it's kind of going soft and smooth. And that's probably what I want to do for our top cup. By the way, double time click on the line will create additional point. We'll do this way and we'll switch to the softer look because it's organic. I'm going to just like this apply here. Click OK. Just give you a small tip. You know how sometimes you have a bark and maybe inside like bark around the tree. See if you take this top and bring down. Now we can have this kind of inside and create like bark outside um, ring of the bark. So you can you can see how this can be useful in many situations. OK, we'll click OK. It's what we created. We leave it offset and smoothing. If we need it, just enable so smooth. We don't need it because it will be on the top. Nobody see it. Well, bottom cup, we don't care at this time. But here we come below and right now it's just silly cylinder sticking out. Let's go ahead and add roots. And I have to say on a specific, we can almost do any segment add roots. Right here we have a root flare. If we expand, it's currently disabled. Let's enable this. And notice now we have our root flares. We don't necessarily have those roots, you know, they're going around weird which is we'll do later. But general, here's our properties. And you can modify how many you want of those flares. I will set five and we'll go and use this random. You remember how I said, we'll add two. So it's anywhere from three to seven will be randomized this way. The height of them currently one. Let's randomize add 0 0.2. I almost always will add randomization because it's just cool because we just need to create this and you can see how it's changed already, you see? It's a different, every plant will be different. So next we have a depth, we currently one, and you can see this is our depth, there you go. With this interactive preview, it's actually very cool because you can see how it is affecting, yes, straight. Well, we go back to default one and we'll put it 0 0.2 points. Width, again, this is how width is going here. And we're going set width maybe uh, let's see one with too much. Yes, it's spread. I know some plants do this, but not in our case. We'll go 0 0.3 and we'll put it 0 0.1. There you go. I think for the root flare for now, that should work very good. OK, next we also have an additional option blades. It's when we're going to create a leaves different ways. But this is a tree. This is not a leaf. But if you want it, you can create even enable blade. And there you go. You can have it a quite bit fun with this. Well, we'll look on this later. So I think we can go very fast over meshing. We won't do anything right here now. But general with mesh, you can create specifically for some applications like what they require. Like it does, for example, require specific meshing. The uh, Unity require maybe different. In the Fluencer, this option allowed us to change geometry um, shapes. For example, let's look on the perturbation string. If we increase, look how our tree now become very grandly. 
And it's what I kind of want to do, but I'm going to put it not that much. I'm going to put one zero point one. And here we put it 0 0.05, so we can even go there. So we'll apply this different randomness again. If we click on the random, you can see, look at this. We have it, all these different plants already we can create. Cool. Next, our frequency, it's how fast this perturbation happen. If we add more, like 10, yes, go crazy. You can see it's very small jiggly. And if you add less, 0 0.5 will be less. I think actually, yeah, let's go put it 0 0.5. Let's put a little bit less here and we'll put it 0 0.1 on the randomizations. Smooth start. Yes, let's increasing because many times what's happening with tree on the beginning, you remember it's a little bit more solid and as it going up, it's become a little bit more um, granly. So in this case, we'll just say, hey, right here, it's a smooth on the beginning or how much we want it. And as it's going up, it's getting more of this. Next, we have it, a local base, and this is additional effect, how we can modify, including um, interaction with the plane. And we'll look on this a little bit later when we start working on roots. We also have it, options here for our breeze material, and this is just to effect if we want to enable wind and preview, but right now let's don't worry about this. Materials. Materials will apply globally. We'll come back to specific when we start work on materials. Transformations allowed us to change in a global like X, Y position. If we want offset, put it up in the air. Changing currently, we don't need to worry about any of those global transportations. And we don't have any children yet. And the children is we can add um, branches or other things. And that's what we're going to do in next video.